Hello everybody and welcome back. Thanks for tuning in to another episode here in the series. My name is Dominic and I am the host of the Android Factory. Happy Friday. In case you missed it, I'll link a card in the top right, but we went ahead and uh, made use of this countdown timer most recently. And as soon as it completes, we have a little restart option here with our little toast versus snack bar discussion from last episode. So again, I'll link, uh, a card should be in the top right. Um, and today we're going to go ahead and remove basically all of this and do something else when uh, the on finish runs here. So as you can tell from the thumbnail, uh, we are going to be using the Lottie animation here, um, the animation library. And so why don't we just jump right into it? All right, well, um, all of these tabs up here I can link in the description, so don't worry, you don't have to find it, but there's plenty of documentation out there if you just search Android and Lottie or, or even just Lottie. Uh, but I guess we could start with what Lottie is really quickly. It's, um, yeah, I mean, these beautiful little animations that would be, I mean, basically impossible to create um, in Android natively. There's a library here to kind of display them appropriately. And I mean, there are just so many different options and, and different, uh, I guess, like moments that you can try to um, present to the user. Um, really, really, really powerful, really cool stuff. I was looking through this again. It, this is an Airbnb library, so they are just, again, between them or this and Epoxy, just absolutely love the work they're doing over there. But um, anyway, uh, as you can see here, there's just a little bit more of these, like, you know, real nice, simple animations that are just beautiful. Um, so we can go ahead and take this little single line that we need, really, to just get everything in there. I'm gonna go ahead and copy it, and then it looks like 503. However, I see up here 511, so maybe those docs aren't updated. Uh, we'll go with 511 and um, see what happens from there. Uh, but quite simply, all we have to do is add in Lottie, and then in here, we need 5.1.1. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and sync now, and that should give us basically everything we need. Uh, but the thing to note here with Lottie is that it does contain a specific view here. And here we have the Lottie animation view. Um, I'm gonna just hard code this for 100 dp um, just to kind of, you know, create a little square. Uh, we're gonna do our pretty basic stuff here. We're just gonna call this uh, our, oh, sorry, our Lottie view. Um, and we'll put it in between the bottom uh, get these up, constraint top to bottom of our button. So we're just going to put it over here in between the bottom of the button. You know what, maybe we're just going to remove that little thing and we'll just put like a margin top of 16 dp, sure. Um, in my mind we're just going to run a little like success animation, let's say, um, after the timer is up here in the on finish, right? Uh, so we can bounce over to Lottie here. Not only we have the Airbnb documentation, um, there's, I guess, more like a nicer view of the docs, let's say. Uh, and then actually I found out they have Compose uh, interoperability, which is just fantastic. Um, really good to see. They're on the bleeding edge. And then a whole lot here of um, documentation on how to actually use it, which is, which is quite wonderful. But we're going to bounce over here with... Um, a search for just you know complete and yeah you can see all these friendly little you know animations it's just really beautiful but we're gonna go with something pretty simple here um, maybe eventually end up speeding it up because I think it looks better sped up as most of them do um, but regardless you know you could see a whole bunch of just content here that you need you click on this it'll bring you to like the Android Docs specific to use this uh, animation it's really really just really well well laid out uh, we're gonna go ahead and download this Lottie JSON no way I need to create an account okay so I, uh, I just created an account as you can see here with uh, the Android factory so I guess that makes sense um, and then I just continued through here and uh, clicked Lottie JSON downloaded the JSON file and now we have it here all right and we could see the file here in the downloads folder I'm gonna go ahead and copy that Bouncing over to our project view here, we're going to have to go into the app, source, main, res, and then we're going to create uh, a new folder here. 
Um, this one is going to be the raw directory, and then we're going to go ahead and paste our JSON in there. Uh, bouncing back to Android Studio here, we can see we do have this raw directory here and the JSON accordingly. Uh, I don't really know why it's showing an error. Um, hopefully that's just an IDE issue and not an actual issue, but we'll cross that bridge in a little bit. Um, okay, and then we can bounce over to our Lottie animation and there's a whole bunch of Lottie attributes that we can go ahead and uh, you know place. Um, the one that we are going to look for here is the Lottie raw res. We can annotate it, annotate it with at raw. Ah, I see the error now. It says the resource name must begin with a character. Okay, now it seems like we have a format that is exactly what we're looking for here. Perfect, sorry about that. Haven't used Lottie in a little bit, but basically we need to get the JSON file into our raw directory, and then we just need to uh, annotate it here uh, with the uh, inside of the UI element. There are ways to do this programmatically, and all that is outlined here on the docs. Um, specifically, I think these ones here uh, really kind of dives in and talks about all the different attributes and how you can set things up to work programmatically or through XML, all that kind of stuff. Um, but we just did it through XML to get it going. So I'm going to go with Lottie view here. Um, this is going to be the Lottie animation view and the ID of Lottie view. And quite simply here, now that it's configured in XML, um, <laughs> we could very easily just call Lottie view dot play animation and this plays the animation. The speed is less than zero. It'll start at the end and play toward the beginning. Okay, very nice to know. Uh, but that should really be about it to, to get this running in the bare bones version. Uh, let's see how it looks. All right, and we are up and running here. We go ahead and click. Uh huh. Well, we don't have, uh, we got a little bit of work to do there but we can see the animation run perfectly afterwards. So let's see if we can clean this up a little bit so that it doesn't look that way. Okay, everybody, welcome back. It took way longer than I thought, but now I understand Lottie a little bit better. Um, remember we saw that little outline there of like the actual view itself, and that was because the animation had an actual background in it. Um, so now we see that check go off, and obviously it might not be the best because it you know isn't on a nice color let's say for the background um, but we were able to actually manipulate the file so nothing else changed here as far as getting it uh, playing the animation when it was when it was done um, but instead here I had to look into the actual JSON file itself there are a handful of different layers uh, that were here and they had different names associated with them check and then shape layer two and shape layer one um, to help you know with that whole animation uh, there was another one for background and so I just had to go ahead and delete that one um, and then everything worked as you just saw so again nothing else really changed here uh, in the end in the XML it was really just the JSON file that had a background hard-coded in it. So there you go. Um, I know it might have been a little all over the place, but Lottie is extremely powerful, uh, extremely, extremely helpful. Um, this little editor here actually showed me that, that this, is, this has a background here. Um, as you see the different layers, there are four of them, so I deleted the one that had BG, and then everything worked well. Um, but other than that, the uh, actual work of Lottie here, very, very helpful, very, very powerful. Please check it out. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, like if you enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing if you are brand new. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Thanks so much.